HCF of 80, 90 and 100. To find the HCF, for that we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is 80, 90 and 100. This is your step 1. Next. In this number, last digit 0, so take 5. First number 8. A number close to 8 in 5 table is 5 once 5. 8 minus 5, 3, 3 carried forward 30. When do we get 30 in 5 table? 5, 6, 30. Now 16 is 2, 8, 16. Now 8 is 2 fours 8. Now 4 is 2 twos 4. Now we have 2 2 is a prime number so 2 ones 2. Now the other number. Last digit 0 so take 5. First number 9. A number close to 9 in 5 table is 5 ones 5. 9 minus 5 4 4 carried forward 40. When do we get 40 in 5 table? 5 8 40. Now 18 is 2 9's 18. Now 9 is 3 3's 9. Now we have 3 3 is a prime number so 3 1's 3. Now the other number. Last digit 0 so take 5. First number 1 smaller than 5 so 2 numbers 10. When do we get 10 in 5 table? 5 2's 10. This 0 as it is down. Now 20 is 5 4's 20. Now 4 is 2 2 is 4. Now we have 2 2 is a prime number so 2 1 is 2. Therefore our HCF is HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places. That is here and here and also here. I repeat, HCF is the product of numbers which should be present in these three places. So now let us find the numbers which are present here and here and also here. Starting with the number 5. Do we have 5 here? Yes. So go to the other place. Do we have 5 here? Yes. So cut 5 and write here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So go to the other place. Do we have 2 here? Yes. So cut 2 and write here. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need to check in the other place. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need to check in the other place. Next number 2. Do we have 2 here? No. So no need to check in the other place. No more numbers have been left out. Therefore HCF is 5 into 2. 10. 10 is our HCF. 